DNC Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz called to resign. In an email campaign, the Campaign for America's Future slash Institute for America's Future blasted the 2008 Clinton surrogate for working to undermine the nuclear peace accord with Iran, which was worked on by the Obama administration, and for setting a restricted debate schedule meant to favor her longtime friend and ally, Hillary Clinton. In an important election year, Democratic National Committee Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz has been a disastrous leader for the Democratic Party. She set a restricted debate schedule that favors one candidate and shortchanged voters' alleged campaign for America's future. Other media and debate watchers have accused the DNC chair of limiting the Democratic debates to restrict scrutiny of Ms. Clinton's growing classified email scandal. Emails recently found on Mrs. Clinton's private email is evidence that the former Secretary of State had actionable intelligence that race-based war crimes were being committed against non-Arab African migrants and Afro-Libyans, non-combatants, by the U.S. and NATO-backed Arab militias. NATO, nor the United States, attempted to stop the mass killings and displacement. The United Nations, the African Union, and the ICC have thus far failed to investigate and prosecute anyone for these crimes almost five years after they were committed in Libya. The email also accuses Democratic National Committee Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz of working to get Republicans elected because they were her personal friends. Wasserman Schultz has a history of putting her own preferences and relationships ahead of the Democratic Party. She even refused to support Democratic challengers to three Republicans because the Republican incumbents were her personal friends, says the Campaign for America's Future email. This has been a Black Talk Radio News report. Support independent black media with a donation today to the North Carolina-based nonprofit Black Talk Media Project.